Hi guys, John here and today we're going to test these split beam torque wrenches and see which one comes out on top and which one of course is the better value. To run the test I bought a $2,000 CDI torque tester with a LCD screen and the unit is made by Snap-on. And this will give us an accuracy of plus or minus 0.5%. First up we have the Icon. Model TW3-250, half inch drive with a torque range rating of 40 to 250 foot pounds. 90 tooth ratchet head, which has 15 degrees of flex. Accuracy, plus or minus 4%. Overall length is 23 and a quarter inches with a weight of three pounds and 12 ounces. The torque wrench comes in a blow molded case and is made in Taiwan. Purchase location is Harbor Freight with an MSRP of $130. Next we have the Precision Instruments model C3FR250F. Drive half inch. Torque range 40 to 250 foot pounds. 32 tooth ratchet with 10 degrees of flex. Accuracy plus or minus 4%. Overall length is 22 inches and an eighth. Weight, three pounds, eight ounces. It comes in a blow molded case and is made in the USA. Purchase location is Amazon with an MSRP of $266. Next we have the Snap-on, model TQFR250. Half inch drive with a torque range of 40 to 250 foot pounds. 36 tooth ratchet head with 15 degrees of flex. Accuracy, plus or minus 4%. Overall length is 22 inches and a half. Weight is three pounds, seven ounces, and also comes in a blow molded case. Made in the USA, purchase location can either be Snap-on Online or a tool truck. MSRP of $434. So now we'll take a look at DB. Start with the icon here, then the precision, and of course the Snap-on. So you might be uh, in a shop that's loud, or if you're like me, not the greatest hearing, of course, you might want to know this, which one actually clicks the loudest. So now let's take a look at arc swing. I drew it out here just to try to give an example of how far you're going to have to uh, move the torque wrench to grab another tooth. So with a baseline there, first up we have the precision, which is a 32 tooth and gives us a 11.25 degree arc. Pretty extreme. So if you're in a tight uh, situation, you may not uh, want to have this torque wrench. You can see that right there. Next up, we got the uh, snap-on here. Again, uh, this is a 32 tooth with 10 degrees of arc. So you can see that, that right there. Similar to the Precision Instrument, pretty aggressive uh, ratchet head. Last up here we have the Icon, which is actually a 90 tooth, which gives uh, four degrees of arc. Very fine ratchet there, which makes it nice if you're um, working in tight situations. You can even see it here with the wrench on there. Just a little bit of movement and we grab another tooth right there. So let's now uh, power up the Snap-on Torque Tester which has a accuracy of plus or minus 0.5% here. So First up is going to be the icon, and the goal here, guys, is to stay in the green. So the green is plus or minus 4% of the audited uh, setting. So for here we have 50 foot-pounds, so of course we want to stay plus or minus 50 foot-pounds. And then next on the test is 150. So we'll do that again three times. And 
and then we'll move up here to 250 foot pounds and once we do three of these then we'll do the same for the precision instruments and then the snap-on So after that, I'm going to go ahead and cycle each of these uh, torque wrenches 1,000 times. So now we'll run the same audit. So we'll start at 50 foot-pounds, and we'll do three at 50, and then three at 150, and then three at 250 for each of the torque wrenches. And then we will graph the data and see how they end up. All right guys, so I graphed all the data before and after a thousand cycles. Here you can see the deviation between all three tests in white, and then in yellow you can see the deviation uh, between the set point and actual value. All fell well within the range of plus or minus 4%, so it's actually hard to say one is truly better than the other. You can see some did better uh, before a thousand cycles, some did better um, at 250 compared to 50 foot-pounds. But again, all are within that plus or minus 4%. Next, I graphed also before and after 1,000 cycles of what was displayed on the tester there. And here you can see that. And of course, the data is pretty close. 
Um, so it's hard to say, again, one is better than the other actually looking at this data. But I will say I do prefer one over the other. And so you've seen the data. All are within the plus or minus 4% accuracy. So it really comes down to preference at this point. Um, but John's pick is going to be the icon here for a few reasons. Uh, one being, of course, it is the cheapest of the bunch coming in at 130 versus next up, you know, the precision instruments at 266 and then the uh, snap on there at 434. That being said, it does have, again, that 90 tooth ratchet head, which will make it nice in close situations where you don't have that much room to, to move the torque wrench. Uh, it does have that 15 degrees of flex there, and it is the longest handle one of the bunch. So for me, that helps out a lot uh, so that I can get enough leverage on it, you know, to get that 250 foot pounds. Again, it is made in Taiwan. Don't really care for that, but that's what gives us our price of $130. Also, one thing to note, this has a lifetime warranty where the others do not. Yes, it's not on the mechanism itself, but if you were to have a failure up here in the ratchet mechanism, you could get that repaired under warranty. Knowing Harbor Freight, they'd probably just give you a new torque wrench. Uh, the other two have one year, of course, and then you're on your own. So, so next I would have to say would be the snap-on with the 36 tooth head. And of course, this is made in the USA. Yes, the uh, premium is a bit high in my book, but of course you can get matching grips here if you've got everything in orange, green, red, uh, gray. You can do that here on the handle, which is pretty cool for a lot of you guys. Uh, last but not least, is going to be the Precision Instruments. Definitely did not like the length. Uh, I found it more challenging, even though it's not much less, uh, but it definitely was harder uh, for me to torque with. Also, you gotta remember, we only have 10 degrees here of flex. We don't have uh, 15 there. And then what I really don't like is this being open right here to the environment. So stuff could potentially get in there. Shops, at least equipment shops, are not the cleanest. So that is one thing uh, to keep in mind there. And I just, I don't know, I don't like the grip. You know, it is a good torque wrench. They've been making these for years. Of course, uh, Snap-on used to sell precision instrument torque wrenches, of course, under the Snap-on name. Again, they no longer do that because of um, them purchasing CDI. So that's actually what this Snap-on is here. This is a CDI torque wrench rebranded Snap-on. So there you have it guys. Uh, you can clearly see they all are within that accuracy again. So hopefully this video will help you determine which one to buy. Again, I purchased all these with my own money. Uh, nothing was given to me, no discounts of that sort and also the tester as well. So it is an unbiased opinion on which one I would prefer. Please like, comment, share, and uh, hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.